What's up guys? Welcome back to another one. And once again, I'm shifting from talking about stocks on a day-to-day -day basis and switching over to talking about brand new cryptocurrencies that have potential. They might have come out a little bit ago, just like this one, and it is called Binamon. Uh, if you can tell, it's a direct knockoff of Pokemon or Digimon, but tell you what, I think this one actually does have some potential and I will keep an eye on this one. There's not as much data out there right now. Like I said, this is a very brand new cryptocurrency, but imagine if you were a kid or even a uh, preteen and you had the ability to play Pokemon, but you could wager uh, the coins that you got in Pokemon and be able to trade those coins for other digital currencies and by chance switch it over to the US dollar. So you could actually pocket a big buck uh, if you became an awesome, you know, Pokemon player or Venomon player in, in this instance. So here's the website. It's pretty cool, you know, uh, once you play around with this Venomon. And uh, I'll go over to the white paper here in a second, but they also do have this awesome video. And let me tell you, they put some quality time and effort into it. There is an awesome soundtrack, which they let you download actually. Uh, it gives you, you know, the Pokemon slash anime vibes, and you guys just have to listen to this soundtrack. It's fire. Um, so come check out the website. Uh, of course, here's the playing cards for the Benamons that you can uh, earn. And the cool thing about the Benamons, so they're like Pokemon cards or Digimon cards, but they're also NFTs. So as we all know, the NFT market has been exploding over the past couple months. And this is just another way to, you know, have more NFTs in uh, your wallet. And you're able to play, battle, and, you know, win or lose uh, with these Benamons that you have. And it's kind of neat because when you do battle, uh, it's you versus a friend. And you put a wager. So if you want to, you know, throw up five dollars that hey, I'm gonna beat my best friend, and it's a smart contract. So if you win the battle, then you win that five dollars. Uh, so I actually do like the idea quite a bit. And yeah, the website's pretty basic. Here is the development team. I did Google uh, these individuals. Unfortunately, nothing really came up. So there's not a huge backing, and these guys don't have a lot of history behind them. But hey, they came out with a pretty awesome product. So I'll give them props for that. And if we head over to the white paper, and once again, uh, just reading this so you guys do not have to. I got it in Adobe Acrobat. Uh, so there's the beginning. And it just kind of talks about it. I mean, it's a, it's a game, first and foremost. There's a couple different options there. And I talked about it. And there is staking as well. So. Uh, it talks about the traditional games versus, you know, how this is going to be a little bit better than your traditional Pokemon. And this is some of their visions. You know, you hit ultra rare digital Benamons, kind of just like Pokemon cards. Um, as we saw Logan Paul, when he fought Floyd Mayweather, he had a Pokemon card around he was wearing a chain of it around his neck and they are valued at a lot of money so if Benamons could take off like pokemon you know these nfts could be valued at a lot of money in the future of course it's multiplayer many different uh battle modes etc cetera, etc cetera. as like i was saying multiplayer battle modes and then there's rare digital collectibles pokemon <laughs> not to be confused with pokemon and it kind of talks about how it works. Like I said, a smart contract kind of runs everything, which is pretty neat. And it is on the Binance Smart Chain. Don't think I mentioned that earlier. Like I did mention earlier, all these are NFTs. They're staking. Talks about the models, uh, the different battle modes. And the cool thing is with the battle modes, you know, a small percentage will be burned. Like I kind of said, if, you know, I'm battling a friend and we did wager that $5, there's a little fee, of course and that fee will be burned so in theory this currency will be deflationary because they, there is a cap amount of currency of tokens and coins and a little bit of that's going to be burned every single time that there is a battle so that's kind of neat uh talks about the multiplayer games 
AD store NFTs and then the token distribution. Once again, this is by far the most important thing you have to look at with all these brand new coins. Uh, so seed round is 17%, the private sales 22%, the team gets five, the advisors get five. And just looking at that, that is 50% of the coins, they are gone, which is crazy. Uh, so that, that is a lot of coins. Unfortunately, I, I don't like that all too much. Uh, so the seed round and private sales, that just means private investors for the most part, they have a huge chunk. It looks like about a third of uh, the value of this uh, crypto. So if they all want to sell it all at once, then boom, there goes the value of your coins. Um, this talks a little bit more about the tokenomics and the use of funds, so liquidity pool, operational expenses, marketing, developing, so on and so forth. And uh, it is deflationary, kind of like what I mentioned before, uh, with each battle, you know, a little bit gets burned. Um, all the tokens used in the smart contracts will be burned. Uh, so there's a lot of burning going on with the tokens making the overall currency deflationary. And then here is the token release schedule. So not everything will be released at once over, you know, the period of a couple months, things will be able to be released, which is good. So if the, you know, private investors want to dump all of their tokens into the market, at least they kind of have to do it slowly. And then the roadmap. Uh, Q1 looks like they checked all the boxes. They started making their first NFTs um, and then moving on to Q2, they're building that community and marketing campaign, which is happening right now, public and private sales, which uh, it actually, we checked those boxes and then looking for the future, they're looking for the platform to launch in Q3 2021. I'll be eagerly awaiting that because it seems kind of neat. And then uh, Let's see some video games, an alpha version, and then expansion by 2022, which is the future roadmap for Benamon. And like I talked about the advisors already, they are backed by some, uh, once again, smaller companies. And that is it uh, for this one. Once again, I'm pretty interested. I wouldn't mind dropping $10 or so just in case, you know, this does become catchy and the video game is actually quite fun. Uh, so I'm interested in Benamon. Let me know what you guys think about this one. And if you have any other coins new or established that you want me to review, uh, just let me know in the comments. Thanks. See you next time.